morning and welcome to our first weekend vlog in Florida. Please excuse me starting the vlog super casual. The lighting in my mom's house is really not the best and the boys are outside eating and playing and the dogs are kind of all over the place. So I had to sneak away to the bathroom to start the vlog for today. So I hope you guys don't mind this super casual introduction, but I figured I would start the vlog today. It's Friday. We don't have too much going on, but the one thing we are doing today is going to the trampoline place that we went last year to take the boys jumping. My stepmom is going, my brother's actually coming this time, and then my grandma is going to meet us there. Okay. Sorry, my stepmom came over. We're trying to make plans because my mom does work this time around. And so whenever my mom's at work, my stepmom and I are trying to make plans with the boys. And we also think we're going to take them to a children's museum while we're here. But today we are going to go to the trampoline place. I figured I would vlog that and then whatever else we decide to do over this weekend. My mom and stepmom did turn the heater on in the pool. So we might do some swimming this weekend. So we'll kind of see. But for now, I'm trying to get the boys to finish some breakfast and then we're gonna get dressed and head out. Okay, we went ahead and throw ourselves together. The weather is surprisingly very warm. I feel like when we came last year after the boys' birthday into February, it was still pretty chilly. Like they were wearing sweatpants and long sleeves for a majority of the trip. This time around, I guess since we're halfway in through February already, it is very warm. I'm very pale. I definitely wish I self-tan before I came here and now knowing that I'm wearing shorts more often than I thought I was going to. But I threw on this athletic romper from Old Navy that I love and a flannel over just because it is the morning. So it is chillier now, but I'm sure it'll get warm either jumping or when we leave. And then for the boys, all the shorts that I brought for them are dirty. I have to do their laundry later on. So I have them in a very thin sweatpant, which I think is a good idea so that they don't scuff their knees jumping on the trampolines. And then just a nice thin t-shirt to go with it. So we're gonna get our shoes on. I need to quickly throw the diaper bag together and then we're gonna head out. a bit later it is i think a little bit after 12 we wound up leaving to go to the trampoline place around 9 20 ish we jumped for about an hour and a half the boys seriously had so much more fun this time compared to last time they did a bunch of the different activities and the place where we went had like new and different things for them to do there as well last time when we came they were doing construction for these places for these new things and so it's obviously done now and so there was a lot of new and fun things to do and the boys had so much fun my grandma wound up meeting us there and then after we all went to McDonald's and had some lunch I wound up bringing home some of the boys food since they were taking a little bit longer to eat So we are back now They're playing with some magnet tiles and eating the rest of their McDonald's from before and I'm going to put them in for some quiet time Slash a little bit of a nap. Hey, baby, don't climb on that um, I'm going to wind up putting them in for some quiet time and then when they're down for their quiet time, I think I'm just going to relax. I'll see if they wind up napping. They did wind up napping yesterday. And I think because they were jumping around today and exerted a lot of energy, they should go down for a nap today. So I'm not too sure what else we have going on today. I don't know if I'll continue the vlog today or later this weekend, but I will check in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> swim, 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 swim. I'm fly. Hey guys, so it is now the next day. It is Saturday and it is very late in the day. It is three o'clock. My mom just went to work and my stepmom actually offered to take the boys out for a little bit. Today the weather isn't great. I did tell the boys that we could go swimming today, but because it's super windy and cloudy out, we decided against that. And so we've just been cooped up in the house and the boys have kind of been all over the place today so my stepmom offered to take the boys out i think they were going to the park and maybe five below to get something um a little treat for them so i 
have just been able to kind of sit for the last few minutes. They left maybe like 20 minutes ago. And I decided to jump up and take some clips for you guys. Although I didn't vlog anything today, I figured I would share with you guys the boys' sleeping arrangement this time around. Since if you guys are familiar, we did transition the boys out of their cribs at home and into their toddler beds. And normally when we come to stay with my parents, they sleep in or they would sleep in pack and plays. But because they sleep in larger beds at home and they no longer fit a pack and play, like they, I think they exceed like the weight requirement for a pack and play, it was time to move them up to a more big boy, larger bed sleeping situation here at my parents' house. So my mom did go ahead and pick some stuff up for that. So we're gonna head into the room and I'll show you guys their sleeping arrangement in just a minute. But I also wanted to show you guys the potties that I picked up for my mom's house. Originally, I was not going to get potties for here just because I figured they would use the big one. But it is easier just to have two potties available because sometimes they still need to use the bathroom at the same time. So I went ahead and ordered two more potties off of Amazon. The ones that I have at home are the easy to go potties. Um, hold on, my stepmom is calling me. They're at five below now. Um, she wanted to call me and give me an update. But the ones that I have at home are the easy to go potties. Um, I think those are like 20 something dollars. The ones that I decided to pick up for here, I just wanted to get some cheap alternative. These are by oxotot maybe i don't know i will link them down below i did go ahead and put the stickers that i already had purchased from amazon the first time around when we did potty trading i brought extras to label their potties here um and then these i think were like 15 dollars on amazon so if you're looking for a cheap toddler potty um i will link this in my amazon storefront but these have been working wonderfully for us and i do think that the size it's definitely more compact than the ones that we have at home these would be great for traveling if you were to put it in a suitcase or something like that um they're definitely smaller and more compact than the ones that we have that have like a back on them um but yeah i wanted to show you guys that so let me take you guys inside and i'll show you guys the boys sleeping arrangements i did want to share this my mom did install a little gate here i can't do it now because i need two hands but at night i do put this up across here just to make sure that if they were to get out of the room they haven't tried so far and i think these handles are a little bit more difficult for them to use um my parents do have a pool and my mom does have another gate out in the living room that she usually closes at night um over there but she put up another gate so we have like two three four different layers of protection just in case the boys did get out of their room at night um so that we don't have to worry about the pool or anything but um my mom has this like double trundle bed normally it would be back against this wall here and this bed was always positioned under this one but my mom configured it like this and then ordered these railings off of amazon and put those in for Ben's bed, since his is higher and there's no like wall over here, we do have pillows underneath the blankets here to um, keep him from scooching his way out of the bed in the middle of the night. But so far we haven't had any issues. He has some steps here so that he can get in. And then this one here is Jack's bed. And surprisingly, they're doing so well. They've slept in it. How many days have we been here now? Three nights, I think. And we've had no issues thus far with them like wanting to get out or not being able to sleep. Honestly, these beds are way bigger than the toddler beds that they have at home. So I think they're loving the space that they have. But um, my mom said that these railings were super easy to install as well. So if you need railings for beds, I will link these down below as well. Um, if you guys are in the market for something like that. But I wanted to share those quick things with you guys. I don't think there's anything else that I want to share with you guys right now. Um, I'll show you guys what the boys wind up getting or picking up with my stepmom when they get home. And then hopefully tomorrow the weather is supposed to be nicer. We can get outside and do some pool time. I know my mom and stepmom both have work tomorrow and I'll have kind of like a solo day with them. So I'm hoping to get some footage tomorrow. Okay, it is now the next day and we're getting ready to go in the pool. It is gorgeous out today. So we're definitely getting some swim time in. Okay, please excuse the crazy pool hair. The boys and I just came in from swimming this morning. They're sitting down and having some lunch and they're also coloring with these like giant Paw Patrol coloring book pages that they also got at Five Below yesterday. They seriously, it took my stepmom for all she's worth and got so much stuff, but they had a great outing with her yesterday. They came back super, super hi. happy. Hi, Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yesterday was a bit of a crazy day because the boys didn't nap. They did wind up falling asleep really easily and early last night. 
and then they woke up at 5 20 this morning so we've been up for quite some time i did try and go in there and settle them and lay with them like i laid with jack in his bed but that really wasn't doing the trick and then i left the room to see if me being in there was making them not want to fall back asleep but that didn't do the trick and so i took them out of their room at like 6 20 6 30 but we've been up since 5 20 so we've had Quite a long morning already. I am planning on putting the boys in for a nap after they're done with their lunch. I'm hoping that they get a very good nap in today because like I said, they didn't nap yesterday. It was a bit of a chaotic day since we were stuck in the house. The weather was pretty cloudy and windy, so we didn't get to do anything in the morning. So yesterday was crazy. They didn't nap. They woke up early this morning. I'm hoping that I can get them down for a nap in a little bit. And then when they nap, I'm either going to maybe get some sun or take a shower and relax on the couch. Um, I'm not too sure yet, but I feel like I haven't been able to sit on here and chat with you guys this whole weekend. It's either been very fast paced, like Friday we did a lot. We went to the trampoline place, we went out to lunch, we came home and swam. And then yesterday there just really wasn't anything going on to sit down and chat with you guys. But my mom is at work today, my stepmom is at work today, my brother is in his room relaxing for a little bit. So I figured I would jump on and kind of update you guys on how the weekend has been. Um, I feel like the boys are adjusting to sleeping care really well aside from them waking up super early this morning That's been great And the weather has been really nice aside from yesterday Like I mentioned last year when we came towards the end of january into february, I feel like it was still pretty chilly But aside from yesterday yesterday was like 75 Um today it's like 86 or 87 and I think it's supposed to be pretty warm the rest of the week I do think we're going to go to the beach tomorrow, which I am going to vlog But it's going to be in a separate video from today so yeah, I wanted to jump on here and chat with you guys. I don't know what kind of footage I'm going to get for the rest of the day or if I'm just going to jump on and end the video later on. Um, I did want to ask you guys, I did ask over on Instagram and I got great feedback over there, but I want to know if you guys really enjoyed my like style and format of my travel vlog where it was a bunch of clips and was voiced over and it was more compact and short. I want to know if you guys enjoyed that because I'm thinking of doing another one of those here, like a day in my life in Florida. Um, so please let me know what you guys thought of that. But I'm going to sit with the boys and have them finish their lunch and then put them down for a nap to relax. And I'm sure I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay, the boys are down for a nap. The one good thing about them, sorry, I just ate some French onion dip and chips. But the one good thing about them waking up early in the morning is that naps are pretty much a guarantee. Granted, they have not woken up this early and I can't even remember how long. Like 5.20 is extreme, extremely early. I'm hoping it was just like a freak thing. The boys are having like this weird wet cough in the mornings and like in the middle of the night they don't really cough throughout the day but during the night i hear them cough a little bit and then when they wake up in the mornings they're coughing a lot so i don't know if that woke jack up and then he was crying because he wanted me i don't really know um but the one good thing about the waking up early is that naps are basically a guarantee so i put them in at like 11 45 and they pretty much fell right asleep I did go ahead and eat some lunch and then I figured since they were sleeping, the dogs do kind of wake them up if they bark. So I figured since they had just fallen asleep, I was going to quickly jump in and take a shower so that if the dogs barked by any chance um, and woke them up that my shower was already taken care of. We do plan on going swimming again later and going to the beach tomorrow. So washing my hair probably wasn't the best idea, but it definitely was in need of a wash. So I was like, whatever, I'll just do it. And then I'll have to wash it again tomorrow. I also used my mom's purple shampoo that she had and toned it because it was looking pretty brassy in that last clip I took of me talking. So I went ahead and toned my hair, but they are still down for their nap. I am watching some DVR RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm going to relax until the boys do wake up. My mom went in for a short shift today. She gets home at like four, so it's not too bad. Um, and then, like I said, we'll probably go back in the pool later and I'm not really sure what else we're going to do, but I wanted to jump on and update you guys.